suffered no harm. Uyu munsi turi nyivuga ngo ica iyo nzoka iri ku buzima bwawe. Today we want to declare to you that kill that snake in your life. Ica iyo nzoka ikurikirana ubuzima bwawe. Kill that snake that is pursuing your life. Deka turebere hamwe twibaze ngo ese inzoka ni iki busanzwe cyangwa se inzoka uhurira hehe no buzima bw'umuntu. Let us examine uh, how the snake uh, what's the relationship what is the correlation between a snake and our lives and the person's life inzoka ni nyamaswa yaremwe nkuko izindi nyamaswa zose zaremwe a snake was a created creature like other creatures were created ndetse yahoze nagenda namaguru yemye and at the beginning it had legs to walk on his on its legs yaje kwamburwa kugenda yemye igihe yashutse adam na eva bakora icyaha muri eden Imana irayivuma irabanga uhereye none uzaje ugende kuruza inda hasi It walking capacity was taken uh, after uh, God had punished had sentenced uh, or punished uh, Adam in Eden and from that time health force God uh, cast it and said from health force you're going to walk crawling on your belly Rero ni nyamanswa ubigenda ikuruza inda hasi ariko kandi ni nyamanswa igira ubwenge bwinshi It's a creature that crawls on the ground on its belly but it is a cunning subtle creature niyo mpamvu yabashije kuza gushuka umuntu eh ikamukoresha icya that's why it was uh, able to tempt a person and lowered him into sinning inzo kandi nyamanswa igira igira ubwenge bwinshi ni nyamanswa izi kuwaho kandi yihishe cyane a snake is a creature that is full of subtlety and it's a creature that can survive uh, with all its uh, knowledge and understanding. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, na shimwe cyane. Praise Jesus. Eh na waramukije mu izina rya Yesu Kristo umwami n'umukiza wacu. I greet you in the name of Jesus our savior. Dwa imana yacu cyubahiro yo ikomeje kuturinda tukageza uyu munsi tujyumeye kumuka abazima. We glorify God once again his protection us here that too uh, we are still breathing the breath of life. kandi dushima imana ko ikomeje kuturinda muri ibi bihe bitoroshye isi yose irimo gucamo byo hari mu indwara y'icyorezo ya COVID-19. And we want to thank God once again uh, he's preserving us through all these hard times when the world is facing the uh, pandemic of uh, COVID-19. It's not uh, might or power that we are still alive. We are not more righteous than those people who are dead. It's just God's grace. Dero tugomba gushima imana iminsi yose kwera ko ikomeje kuturinda. So for the days of our lives we owe him one date just to give him thanks. Mu minsi yashize twarimo twiga inyigisho ivuga muri twaganiriye kucyanditswe kiri muri zaburiya 191 tuvuga ku mwambi ugenda ku manywa igitegwa cyane njoro uwo mwuka wihishe muri ibyo bintu hanyuma dusenga imana kugira ngo ibidukize in the last session we've been talking about or we shared about Psalms 91 verses 5 about the terror by the night and the hour that flies by the day praying to God that he may preserve and protect us from all those things nanone uyu munsi giye kuganira rero ijambo ry'Imana ntabwo ari kure cyane ntabwo ritandukanye cyane niyo ngisho twari turimo nanone nundi mwuka tugiye kureba imiterere yawo hanyuma twige uburyo bwo kwica cyangwa se Today's teaching is not going to be different from uh, the previous ones. We are going to share about a certain spirit and then we'll uh, again we'll take you through uh, the ways or mechanisms how to fight against such a spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We welcome you in this place. Come and be with us. Bless us. Give us your wisdom. 
that we may not speak as us, but let us be inspired by the Spirit of God. Let your wisdom and understanding manifest on us. And may you accompany this gospel of good news that we are preaching uh, by saints and wonders to change and turn the lives of men. Thank you, Lord and the King. May the glory be unto you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Uh, we are going to read in the book of Acts uh, in chapter 28, which is the last chapter of this book, and we are going to start with verse 3. We Bawani chaji kuruka kireleta kujikondro chie ba baravuga na bati nukuri uyumono nomi chini hurora nugu ya chize mnyanja ida cha uruachi vera ni mukundi ya kuwahu ngwariko akumurira chaji kuruka mumuriro ni ajira ichawa amen. We're reading uh, the book of Acts chapter 28 from verse 3. The Bible says. But when Paul had gathered a band of sticks and laid them on the fire, a viper came out because of the heat and fastened on his hand. So when the natives saw the creature hanging from his hand, they said to one another, No doubt this man is a murderer, whom though he has escaped the sea, yet justice does not allow him to live. But he shook off the creature into the fire and suffered no harm. Today we want to declare to you that kill that snake in your life. Kill that snake that is pursuing your life. Let us examine uh, how the snake uh, What's the relationship, what is the correlation between a snake and our lives and a person's life? A snake was a created creature like other creatures were created. And at the beginning it had legs to walk on, his, on its legs. And then its walking capacity was taken uh, after uh, God had punished, had sentenced uh, or punished uh, Adam in Eden. And from that time, health force could uh, cast it and said, from health force you're going to walk clawing on your belly. So it's a creature that crawls on the ground on its belly, but it is a cunning, subtle creature. That's why it was uh, able to tempt a person and lured him into sinning. A snake is a creature that is full of subtlety and it's a creature that can survive uh, with all its uh, knowledge and understanding. Uh, uh, given that they are cold blooded animals, they survive where they thrive in Africa because it is a moderate temperature. They, could not, they can't survive in hot places. So, Dero, Ninzoka, Iba, Usans, Beziba Mumyobo, Chango Sim, Mubiat, Mubihuru, Ndete, Hanizin, Zibano Mubitejo, Zikunda Kwa Mubiti. Most cases, snakes live in fox forests, uh, they can also live in trees or even in the grasses. Dero, Ni, Ije, Imana, Yayufu Maganone, Muri, Mitanjo, Gatasumakane, 
iravuze ngo uzaje ugende ukuruzinda ndetse raba ngo uzaje urya umukungugu umukungugu nibyo byo kurya byinzoka when god cast the snake in genesis 3:14 uh, he cast it uh, by saying that it shall be walking or crawling on its belly but also he added that it shall be eating dust as its food hari ikintu umuntu yakwibaza nanone gishora kuba gikurura inzoka kurya umuntu cyane nuko mwibuke ko igihe imana yarema ku muntu yamuremye nanone mu kungu and again i want i would like to think or to, as to believe that the reason as to why uh, as snakes eat or bite uh, human beings many times it's because at the creation man was created in dust and given that dust is food to snake it ends up biting man so rero bango mu muntu cyangwa se ku muntu hari ikintu gikurura inzoka kumusanga so there is an attracting force in a human body that attracts a snake or snakes to human beings inzoka na n'uyu munsi hari irakemerwa mu bihugu bimwe na bimwe mu myemerere y'abantu hari abantu bayifata nkaho ibaha imbaraga cyangwa se nk'ikigirwa mana basenga in many countries some people uh, worship snakes as their gods ningira ngo na n'uyu munsi nko mu gihugu cya cya Misiri Egypt na n'uyu munsi baracyafite ku bihobe rye cya bafarawo inzoka yari ikirango cy'ubwami bwabo bayemera bayisenga na n'uyu munsi baracyayifite nk'ikirango in countries like Egypt even uh, in times of Moses they held snakes as their uh, their seals so no bango icyo gihe na nungu baracyayemera hari bihugu byinshi bikiyemera ko ifite imbaraga nyinshi many countries still hold snakes not only as gods to worship but, but as their national seals dero umwuka w'inzoka muri mirwa bibiliya inzoka ni satan so spiritually uh, in the spiritual realm a snake is is is, a, a, is the devil spirit Tunabango kubera ko Satani giye cyose ari umwanzi wacu rero inzoka nubundi ni umwanzi wacu ko numwuka Satani ni numwuka wa Satani urwanya ubuzima bwacu Given that the devil is our arch enemy the snake that represents the devil spirit is also our enemy mu miterere y'inzoka ibintu irya nababwiye kimwe inzo kwikunda kurya iryo mukungugu kuko yabitegetswe yaravumwe ni inzoka ni nyamaswa igira no muvumo w'Imana Icyaka birirya inzoka zikunda kurya amagi cyane amagi inkoko amagi inyoni inzoka zikunda kurya amagi cyane But as I told you there's some of the things that the snake eats uh, one of them is dust because it was cast to eat dust but another thing that the snake likes eating is eggs they like eggs Eh wa kuki zikunda kurya amagi ubundi igi niki igi ni inkoko yejo hazaza Why do snakes like eating eggs and what is an egg an egg is a future posterity of uh, the chicken family. Rubango iye niba inkoko iteye ginonaha nyuma y'iminsi 21 ryagiriye aho ryavuye mu nkoko. Rero iyo inzo kiri ginonaha bavuze ko iriye ya nkoko yagiye kuzavuka ejo wundi minsi 21. It takes 21 days for a, 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 an egg to hatch into a new chick. So when a snake eats an unhatched egg it means it is eating the future family of the chicken. The rubango rero no inzoka no umwuka umira amahirwe yabantu kugira ngo ntazabe ntazasohore. So a snake represents or stands for a spirit that devours the 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 the, the chances the connections of uh, future connections of people so that they may not materialize. Abantu benshi bakunda kugira inzo zibarota inzoka ariko iza mu buryo butandukanye. Harabarota inzoka yabariye eh abika bari nk'umwuka w'uburozi mwinjiyemo harabarota inzoka kayibonera inkari itangwe gerere iko akabona iri ikintu ikongera kagende tamwakuye cyangwa itamwegerere iko akayibonera munzo za kayibonera kuri many people have got dreams uh, involving snakes attacking them others see snakes eating something or take uh, attacking someone without uh, directly attacking them then to go uh, on different related related dreams Hari iyo ubonye inzoka mu nzozi zawe ntuzatekereze ko yaje guseka gende inzoka ni diamond imbi ni satani uburimo wigaragaza ku buzima bwawe ishobora kuza nikwege ariko kuva wayibonye ukaboniraje wende ifashe nk'ikintu hari yirakiri yiragiye uzamenye ko ari satani utwaye amahirwe yawe so whenever you dream about a snake in your dreams uh, though it didn't attack you directly maybe it went and ate something and went away 
never think that everything is peaceful. Know that it has attacked and taken some of your chances, some of your connections in the future time to come. Icyo gukora muri ako kanya n'icyo kimara kwibona no gusenga wica iriya nzoka ko ipuye amahirwe ya waragaruka. So what ever you do or what uh, 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 resp the immediate resp response you can do it is to pray in a, uh, killing that snake because when you do that the taken chances will come back to you hari umudamu umwe yaje akunda kurota inzoka ariko ntago yaza buri gihe iyo yabaga twite inda yigeza mu mezi atatu ane yarotaga mu nzoza kabone inzoka iraje ifashe hari nk'akantu kameze nk'akaguri irigendeye imwegereye nimwatatse aka kabonera giye bwacya mu gitondo agasanga inda yavuyemo byabaye inshuro nyinshi kubuzima bwe kugeza igihe umwuka w'Imana yaje guhishurira ko icyo kiba ari daimoni ari umuruzo zo gutwara abana afite munda there is a certain woman who used to dream about a snake in her dreams it couldn't come frequently but the times she dreamed such dreams she could see a snake in her dream the snake would come pick something like uh, a maize or some uh, food cramps, then the snake would go. Uh, whenever she would have such a dream, uh, when she's pregnant around three or four months, in the morning she would find, uh, she would wake up uh, finding herself having a miscarriage. It happened many, many consecutive times until she was re it was revealed to her that this spirit of a snake uh, was the cause of the miscarriage. Dero, ni wana inzo kamunzo zizawe, nuzo mvegusako ariki inu ari bintu bidasanzwe wabonye keretse wenda rimwe na rimwe nk'igiye abantu bareba ama filimu cyane ukazibonamo waza kuryama bigatangira kugaruka ariko niba ari inzo kukunda kubona mu gihe runaka ikazongera kagaruka mu kindi gihe kagaruka uzacunge neza kuko ni umwuka mubi wa satani uri mukurikirana ubuzima bwawe so whenever you have such dreams uh, they may come uh, intermittently on and off um, maybe never be uh, never never be reluctant it means that the devil is trying to attack you pray and fight against it uh, this is different from the hallucinations or the illusions we might get from watching movies involving snakes and when you you, you fall asleep you uh, you will see such illusions this is different these kind of dreams that involve snakes that are serious they are steady intermittent in and off please take it seriously Dero inzoka nababwiye ko zikunda kuba mu myobo zikunda kuba ahantu hihishe ntabwo zige zikunda kujya ahantu hagaragara none se ni ryari zigaragara ni ryari ziva ha handi zihishe zikaza hano As I told you snakes are like living in fox holes in grasses and trees they live in concealed uh, secret places when do snakes decide or to come out uh, in the public and, uh, and crawl or walk Buri ya umunsi ugira ibice bitatu hari igice cya mugitondo icyakumanywa n'icyane njoro As I told you a day is composed of three phases we have the, the morning time the noon time and the evening or the night time Ubuzima bw'umuntu nabwo buca muri ibyo bihe bitatu hari gihe cy'ubwana hari gihe umuntu abari mukuru ari mu myaka yo gukora iyo bita working age akaba nawe n'igihe umuntu abakuze agiye mu za bukuru Likewise, a human life goes through those three phases. There is the childhood phase, uh, then there is a, a phase when you're in your prime age, you're full of vigor, uh, capacity to work, what we call the working age, there is, when, there is then this phase wh when you go in your old age, the retirement age. Dero, inzoka zikunda muri vitebe tatu vijizu monsi, wango inzoka kenish masa haya mjitondo, hago ziwoneka. Hanuko zigira amahane ngo ziryane iyo hakiriho urume hagikonje In most cases in the morning our snakes don't leave their fox holes or their holes or their up abiding areas because uh, it is cold and the grass is still uh, covered by the dew they are going to remain intact in their hiding places Nanone mu masaha ya ninjoro ntago zikunda kugenda cyane niyo zigenda ntago ziryana ko ushonno kuryama ahantu ikakura ruhande mu gitondo bugacya kandi takuriye likewise during the night snakes are uh, don't uh, frequently move and they are docile it can come and crawl around you until morning without even biting you de nubango mu masaha ya mu gitondo cyagiye hagikonje harurume ntabwo ziboneka 
amasaha mugitondo agereranywa n'ubuzima bw'umuntu akira umwana muto in the morning hours at the time when snakes are hiding or staying in their fox holes uh, is comparable or can be compared to the phase of a human life where a person is still young and innocent nanone ninjoro ntabwo zikunda kuboneka nta nubwo zigira amahane ngo ziryane zirya umuntu ko iyo umuntu aryamye bizishobora kuzika kora ruhande bwa cyacu keretse wenda uyikandagiye nabo kayikandagira ku murizo irakurya ariko iyo giye utayendereje ntabwo ikurya aya masaha ninjoro rero nanone ageraranwe ni gihe cy'umuntu abageze mu myaka y'ubusaza cyangwa ubukecuru ari muzabukuru the night time or the night phase of the day uh, snakes are also docile they are not violent they are not lethal as they are during the day a time that is compared to the phase of a human life where a person has metamorphosed into their old age when they are weak and they have lost all the vigor and the energy dero igihe inzoka ziba zikaze cyane na amasaha yakumanwa so the only time when snakes are violent and lethal it is only the noon day amasaha yakumanwa nicyo gihe ku buzima bw'umuntu bihura na cyagiye umuntu abari mu myaka yo gukora ara active cyane umuntu yiga umuntu apanga imishinga agerageza gukora investments zitandukanye ari makora ayo na amasaha yo kumanwa mu kubuzima bw'umuntu the noon day where snakes seem to be violent and lethal and quick is analogous to the human phase of life where a person is in their working age they are full of energy they are full of ideas they have different projects and they are investing whatever comes their way Nero ni aho niki ni hehe inzo kigikabura imbaraga niki kimara imbaraga gitume itagira imbaraga ahantu habiri inzo kijya ntigira ingufu ni gihe iri hejuru isho uyisanze irimo hejuru y'imitondo agira kugikuta wayikubitikagwa kuko nta mbaraga ifite nanone inyoni hari ibinyoni birya inzoka iyifashe hasi kugira ngo yice neze bitayigoye irayitoragura gahita izamukana hejuru so izamute hejuru nta mbaraga ibifite uh, again, I want to bring you to this notion. Uh, what advantage or what locations uh, does a snake reach and it feels helpless? It's when it is in the space, in the suspense, or when the snake is crawling on a wall. Such a times it is, def it is defenseless and is helpless. You can hit or beat it and kill it. Or even when a bird wants to eat a snake as its prey, it will only pick it up, fry, uh, take take it uh, uh, up in the sky. It is only then the the, the bird will manage to eat the snake. So dear, aha nizoka ishwara kuburi rimbaraga kubuzima bwawe no kuzamuka hejuru. Yizamu te hejuru musenga umoka yuzo kuburi rimbaraga kubuzima bwawe. So the only location or the only place where the snake will have no advantage or leverage over your life it is only when you go up in the space in the spiritual realm when you're going to immerse yourself in praying and a spiritual uh, relationship with god dero tubonye ko aba umuntu abaho cyangwa se reka dufata urugero rwo bantu batatu umwe ni umwana muto ya uruhinja ukiri muto undi ni umusaza ushaje cyane cyangwa umukecuru undi ni umuntu uri muri ya myaka yo hagati iyo twabuze ko ari imyaka yo gukora then we, 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 I take you back uh, to this example. Let's assume that we have three people. We have a toddler or a nestling, a younger child, uh, in their young age. We have another old man in their retirement age. Then the third person is the person in their uh, uh, youthful age. The age we named or called the working age. Dero, muraba wanu ukwari batatu ni niwandi ninde mwanzi winzoka irwanya chani. Ninde inzo kitarwanya cyane umuntu inzo kitarwanya cyane wa mbere ni umwana w'uruhinja ku mwana mutoya inzo kicho no kuzika mu giruhande ntimurye ikongera kigendera ntago yamurya So among these three people I've just seen who is the prime enemy of a snake uh, among the three people I think the prime enemy of a snake is this person in their youthful time because a kid or a young child is not an enemy to a snake a snake can even come uh, crawl around or past the child and live in, in peace without biting of the child. So, undi muntu nanone wa kabiri inzoka ititayeho cyane ni umukecuru cyangwa umusaza no kuba ngo muri cyagite cy'umunsi ni igihe cyane njoro cyo kuryama no kuruhuka. The second person who uh, among the three who is not an enemy of a snake 
is this old person or old woman or man who are in their retirement age. Wamba zangu se inzoki huye nu mche tu changu nusu sazanti ya muriya. Na wewe ngo ishora na ninjoro ishora kukuriya. Ui kanda jie utaire waga ya kuriya. Aliku jie na chwe itkwa aye mshora kuba na kani jiri chini kutkwa. You you would ask me, uh, can't a snake bite an old man or an old woman in their retirement age? I would say that it can bite even during which is the night time. It can only bite or be violent when it is attacked. Kuchi inzo kana chini tukarumana. Ko umana ubundu buzima bwo mwana burangwa niki. Umwana aririra akiryamira agasinzira. Nta business agira, nta mishinga teganya gukora, nta movement sakora ngo ravaha rajaha, abayihamiye hamwe, nta bintu byinshi kandi umwana nta nabanza agira. Why don't snakes attack kids or, ch uh, or children? Uh, because in normally the life of a child is just innocent. He's going to eat, drink, pray and sleep. They have no any other problems. That's why the snake won't, won't get bothered or won't even attack them. Nukuwa ngo, mwiuke ko uruguwa ngo uruguwa hatu ninzo ka rukumoka kwe shari ya jiri yumunu, iji yumunu yara maze kuremu. Deiru, umuka wi shari uwa munzo ka chaani. Niyo mamvu, iji hecho se, umunaru ruhiza, na umuka wi shari mwoko ko, na hachi waza fitanya no munu. Na wea tukwa ya business ye, na wea tukwa ya kazi, na ufuga ngo ka, ya tabari hari ya nakawa yendi yo, ko na hachi nakora, na shari nanzanga na fitanya na waano. I want to remind you and taking you back that the source of our enmity uh, between a man and a snake was because of his jealousy. He was jealous of a man, he was jealous of the uh, man, uh, the vocation, a man held, a vocation the devil held uh, from the ancient times. Now, a child or a toddler in their normal life, they have no beef or they have no grudge with people. They have no spirit of uh, 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 jealousy in them because they are young, they are not engaged in any serious business, thus they are innocent. Rero, umuntu nawe ushaje uri mu myaka 90, mu myaka 100, 120, abameze nk'umwana mutoya kuko nawe nta business akora, nta kaza keneye kujyamo, nta kintu kimwe keneye gukora gishora gutuma cyamuzanira ishyari ku bantu. The same applies to our, our, our aging people. Uh, when they grow up, they cease to engage in active businesses, in active investments. So they don't have uh, uh, active contact with people that may warrant uh, grudges or grievances. Dero, umunu fita nyichiwa zoni nzoka changa se umunu muka nzoka urguanya chane ninde? So who is the enemy of a snake? Who is prone? Or who is, uh, who is likely to be the arch enemy of a snake among these three people? wa muntu uh, uri mu myaka ye yo gukora yo gushakisha uh, uyo kwiga urangije kwiga uri mu shaka kazi uri mu ushinga ukora imishinga utekereza business runaka uwo nguwo uri mu kora ni wa muntu twagiranyije ko muri iyo myaka ari cyo cyagice cyakabiri cy'umunsi ari cyo bita kumanywa automatically it's going to be uh, the, 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 this person who is in their youth uh, youthful age and a time uh, that we is analogous to uh, the noon day over day a time where a person is able to invest a person uh, is working on their career uh, where people work on their education where there is a flow of ideas on how to invest that is where that's the kind of a person that's the phase of the day that the snakes likely to attack most the inzoka ziboneka kumanwa nanone kumanwa nicyo cyagihe E, tukwise ije chumunu cha chogu kwa wakingi eji yu munu. Ahoni hono neho umuka winzoka utangira kwa atakuzi mabu munu. Kwa nicho ji umuka wisheri uwa tanjie kuzi. The spirit of the snake will normally come out of their hiding places during the noon day. A time that is likened to the phase, the working, the working phase or the working age of a human being. Which is a time where a person is investing whatever they have in their life. Kwa ari ya masaha ya kumangwa, iji inzo kazi woneka. Kwa e, hizu wa riwaya lijinshi, hara hanuzi ya kuga mizu wa hara gachutu. Nivangu, haka gachutu zuga ma mizu wa nichi. Na hanu, mulicha jie cha kumangwa nawe, uchene kuhi enje kanguru huke. Au jie kuhi enje kanguru huke, ni inzo kiwa itai. During the day or the noon day when the sun is scorching, 
in most cases legs will take uh, or will rest in a cool place. This can be likened to a time uh, when a human or oh, human beings take some break to go and rest. Maybe it is lunch time, you're taking a break for lunch or you're taking a nap, uh, preparing to go for the evening hours. So, nubango mumasaha yumunu, chango se mumyaka yumunu, eh, yogu kora kumunu. Ahano henshi yumyaka walking age, jendi hindu kabijanye, eh, nibi hugu. Ariko akenshi wabara guhera kumyaka chuminita anu kuizan kumyaka minangutana tunine. Baka wari yumyaka yu hagatika yumyaka yogu kora kumunu. Yumunu lero yinjira muli yumyaka yogu kora, yinjira numuti mucheye, yinjira mezeneza, kona habi komeri ya kuye mugano. Iyo umuntu ari masoka muri imyaka yinjira mu myaka mirongo itandatu n’itanu mirongo irindwi ajya muri retirement yinjira namo umutima wuzuye ibishakwe n’ibikomere byinshi It might differ from a jurisdiction to another jurisdiction, but in most cases the working age starts uh, from uh, 15 years to 65 years. Uh, when a person is metamorphosing to the working age, they enter into this age or this period with an innocent, clear, pure heart. But by the time they are getting out of this age, around 65 years of, uh, of age, their hearts are full of sorrow, of bitterness, of regret, and a lot of insecurity. Yes, we have to say that 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 we have to that's why Jesus said it explicitly in the Bible that the kingdom of God is for the children because they have a pure heart, they have a clean heart free of jealousy. In the working age, it is a period when a person is having uh, a lot of grudges with jealousy. It's a time of being uh, falsely accused because of the chances that might present yourself are to, to you in your journey of life. It's a time when people are going to take your names in uh, witchcraft houses that they may bewitch you. Why are they against you? Because they are fighting your destiny. They are fighting or they are attacking you because of the goals you've set in your life. So the, the, the spirit of uh, a snake is a spirit of jealousy that pursues a human life. A snake is a seal, uh, a symbol of the devil's kingdom. But for us, we have a seal of the blood of Christ as a seal of the heavenly kingdom. So we who have the seal of the heavenly kingdom, we are contending with those with the seal of the devil's kingdom. So in this age, we have the seal of the when the spirit from the devil's kingdom will attack you. It is the same time that many of young men and women prepare to enter into marriage. It's the same time you prepare uh, to marry, it's the same time you marry, and the same time you produce children. Satan ajirishari akaza kukwitra muri gwa rushaka kugira ngo yobya abana bawe yagura ubwami bwa Satan aho kugira ngo yagura ubwami bw'Imana. So when you give birth or produce children uh in actual sense you're expanding God's kingdom. So this causes a lot of jealousy to the devil that that he's going to attack you through your children that he may expand and enlarge the kingdom of the devil through your children. Niyo mpamvu uyu munsi twibaza ngo ese ko mu myaka yashize kera nta muntu wanyangaga Mundumana and Hamunifta Yanavichi was. Kumana and Hamunajanavichi was Hamun Wamutquai business in Guaramanga, 
nta muntu wa mutwaye umufiance ngaramwanga umwana we yimereye neza ariko muri iyi myaka yo hagataho 15564 ni imyaka y'ibikomere nibishakwe ku buzima bw'umuntu that's why many people ask themselves that when i was uh, i was not of age i had no enemies at all i want to tell you that such a tender age it's an age where you don't have any relationship with a, a, a business relationship with people you don't have businesses to invest in and you don't have jealous in your heart that's why you didn't have enemies but in your prime years working age that's when you investing that's when you working that's when you expanding your territories you have enemies muri iyi myaka urugero rw'umugabo witwa Yakobo yahuye nibikomere byinshi cyane ko Yakobo yahawe umugisha nababyeyi ariko kandi mukuru ko kanya tangira kumuhiga kugira ngo amuvutse amahirwe yo kubaho it was in the same period that Jacob uh, as the bible talks about it that he was blessed by his parents but it was again in the same time that his brother his brother rose up against him to kill him niyo myaka nanone yageranye aho yahungiye kwa nyira rumera bani amara y'imyaka akora ariko kandi bamuriganya ibyo yakoreye babitwara it was the same working prime age of jacob that went to his uh, 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 father in uh, in law leban uh, uh, his cousin leban where he worked for 14 Four years, but each and every year he was extorted. Insura nyishi wa muri gani? Biwa musezera njira wa kavi hindu. Biwa musezera njira wa kavi hindu. Laban changed many times uh, Jacob's rewards year in year out. Kujazu gaya vuye yo arimata ha asuye ikanani wabo ajeze ahitwa iya boke mara ikayima na raza mukora deliverance aram aramu fatara musenge la biwa wangu aramu chira nyabu jaze mujitondo. Yako arambira ngo sinkure kura utampaye umugisha aramubaza ngo witwa ngo nitwa Yakobo arabangira iryo zina risigaha ahubwo uhereye none aha ugiye kwitwa Israel It was until the time when Jacob decided to leave Lebanon's place to go back to his father's country that God met him at a place called Jebok uh, and the, he wrestled with an angel throughout the night at the daybreak Jacob asked the angel and told him that I'm not going to let you go unless you bless me the angel asked him what is your name Jacob retorted that my name is Jacob. He said, from now, health force, your name is going to be Israel. He blessed him from there. When the Bible tells us that in his old age, Jacob sat with his children. He narrated his journey, his pilgrimage from his father's house to Lebanon, from Lebanon back to his father's house, how Lebanon extorted him, how he changed every time on and on on seeing that god has blessed him he changed his rewards he was narrating his story the story of life the story of uh, bitterness to his children this is uh, where the saying goes oh this is why people have the saying that says that life itself is a course is a school Priya umuntu ukuze cyane abafite ubwenge bwinshi abafite inararibonye ariko kandi abafite inkovu afite ibikomere byinshi yakuye muri ubwo buzima bwagiye bumwigisha Most people most old people you see uh, you will find that they are really uh, 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 blessed with a lot of knowledge understanding and experience but don't forget that that experience and knowledge is accompanied by a lot of bitterness a lot of wounds he took all he got from this life Iyi myaka nano none niyo niyo myaka ya Yosefu yagurishijwemo na BNC akavi wabo akajya muri Egypta. It was the same uh, uh, working age that Joseph was sold into slavery by his brethren to Egypt. Niyo myaka yakuyemo ibikomere byinshi nanone abonye uko BNC bamugurishije uko bateguye kumwica uko bamugurishije aho yagiye kwa mukoresheje uburetwa uko yagiye mu nzu y'imbohe nubwo yaje kuva mu nyuma akaba ukomeye mu gihugu izo zeze kuzura ariko yageranye ibikomere igiye yahuye na bene wabo baje kumureba yarize inshuro zirenge eshatu ngo akiherera karira ari mu kubareba it was in the youth in his youthful age the the working age of joseph that his brethren sold him it was the same time that he was sold into uh, captivity to Potiphar's press. It was in the same time that he was thrown into prison 
being falsely accused, it, though he was taken out of prison to become the prime minister of Egypt, but the Bible says that when his brethren came to visit him, he cried three times, he would go in a secret place, cry because of all this bitterness, because of all the sorrows of his youthhood. Mujihugu yaru munu kome yaru biwa wangu yaru wakabili kuri farao yaru munu kome chani mujihugu aliku kuwe ribi kome ya kuye muria mnyaka ye yogu kora mnyaka yu sorebge yabu nagawa na kichi akanga kuri la muwanu huko yaru muyobozi mwari kwa kichi nga hili ya kari laki ya nagula kwenye la kagaruka uyumonsi muwona wanu hanu wala kome yibenshi wakuru mchua hiru wali mu aliku kubri ya wafita hanu hali ibi kome ya muzi mabgabo hiyo vi herere yu baradira the bible says that uh, much as he was second in egypt and only second to Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, the Bible says that when his brethren came uh, in Egypt, he would go in a secret place privately to cry because of the sorrows. You can see a lot of people here, prominent people, uh, big people in business, renowned people, uh, harvesting the, 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 the labors of their, their toil. But I want to tell you that behind scenes, they have a bitter, sorrowful life. When they go in private uh, enclosures, they cry. Iyo umuntu mukuru uh, umu umu cyangwa se umukecuru aganiriye n'umudamu umu, mutoya ukigera mu rushako agiye kumugisha inama aramubwira ngo mwana wanje uzihangane nicyo cyonyine nakubwira kuko mu rushako no kwihangana impamvu kugira ngo wihangane nuko nawe yiyambuye gato yakwereka inkovu z'urushako afite aba ngo usaziyemo ariko kandi narakomeretse ihangane na ukomereke ariko ntuzaruvemo in most cases when young ladies who are yet to enter into their marriage uh, when they approach the, the, the elder people, especially their aunties, their paternal maternal aunties, the only advice their aunties are like, uh, likely to give them, they will tell them, please, be patient. Have a patient, long-suffering heart. Because what does this mean? It means that much as I've survived and managed to live in this wedlock, but if I can reveal the hellish life I went through, you could not uh, imagine. Nano ne mujihe Yesu Christo kumya akamirongi tatunita tu baramish. Arapa arazuk. Ije Yesu te Thomas yera vuzi ngo kujira ngo ne mire kuri we chirekani mbona zangu vuzi. Ije wa huye Yesu yaku yehu ngambara mguira ngo Thomas. Ngo mguino chire mino chiza yano umve. Aho wate yichu mno umve. Ngo mguino kure no mo chiganzu rebe. Nuba ngo yeri mamu yereka amateka yuzi mayachiemo. At the age of 33, Jesus himself was uh, betrayed and was crucified and was killed and buried. On his resurrection, one of his disciples, Thomas, said, I want to believe that you resurrected unless I see and touch. At a given occasion, Jesus uh, manifested to his apostles and called Thomas, please come, touch on, on my side and touch in my fingers and see and feel the scars of the spear and the scars of the nails. Jesus was showing his disciples the bitter history of his youthful life. Ariko kandi arabasiye avuga ngo mwihangane mukomere ngiye kubategureraho muzaba ko ni ntagenda ntago ikizaba kiza nuko ngenda nkabategureraho muzaje. Hirya yo kukubabara duteganyirijwe ibyiza hirya yejo hazaza. But Jesus tells them please be of good heart and be cheerful because I've overcome the world and I'm going to prepare a very good place for you and I'll come and take you where I am, you shall be. It means that after all these toiling and hassles and troubles, beyond this curtain of troubles and bitterness, there is a reward awaiting you and me. Dero, bila vangu amaze kuzuka, nguwa ahabga, izi na lili heru ya ndi mazina yose, avuga kuisi. Nubangu kukomera, bila nzirezi kwa nukukomereka. The Bible says that having resurrected, he was given the name above all other names which means that uh, this eulogy, the glory, and the prominence is, uh, is, uh, is uh, heralded or is, uh, is, is, is harbingered by suffering, by lowering, by restlessness, and by betrayal. Dero, witinya, ndajira kumbabugire ngo, deka duhangane, nui mungu kawi nzo katuwiche mngizi na rijaizu. Kutuwa hawa washa, bibi ya vuga muri mariko chuminagata na chuchumini mnani, mungu waza afati nzo ka. Dufitu washa mungu kuyifata nitu rije nijiri chudu tuwara. Muri imyaka yawe, hagarara ushika me, ufate mungu kawi nzo ka mngizi na rijaizu. Witi ya nzo ka kubuzi mabugawa. I want to encourage you to take courage. Don't fear the spirit of the snake. For the Bible says that we are given authority over snakes and crawling creatures. So don't just care away. Don't be afraid. Stand your ground. Fight against this spirit. It shall free 
out of your life nubwo satana dukomeretsa ariko dufite ibyiringiro byo kuzakomera kuko nta ukomera atarakomeretse much as the devil wounds us and pricks us with wounds and we are casualties in the world but be of good cheer we shall go through it because there is no reward there is no reward at all to a person who has who has not toiled who has not wounded on the battle line biragoye kugira ngo uzabone mu gihugu umujenerali cyane nko muri bihugu byacu bya Afrika byagiye bica mu ntambara inshuro nyinshi biragoye kugira ngo uzabone umujenerali udafite igikomere ku buzima bwe udafite isasu cyangwa udafite fragment mu buzima bwe rero ntago wapfa gukomera utarakomeretse it is really scarce to see or to meet one of the generals or the generals in african countries uh, without a wound without a, a scar without a fracture on their bodies uh, uh, because it is normally possible to be a great man without wounds and scars that you got from the battle you fought biragoye kugira ngo utangire urugamba urinde ururangiza udakomeretse gukomereka si kibazo cyane ahubwo ikingenzi wagombye gukora ni ukwita kwiherezo ry'urugendo rwa akabari rwureba kuruta kureba ibigukomeretsa ku mpande ko satana za gukomeretsa inshuro nyinshi it is near impossible to start a war and finish it up without scars without wounds but what is important is not your wounds that you get or acquire through your battle what is important is your destination that you need to follow through to the end there mu buzima bw'umuntu ko twabonye mu bice bitatu ari bice bitatu bigize umunsi ari biriya bice inzoka zigaragara muri iki gihe muri iyo myaka 15 nicyo gihe gikomeye cyane aho inzoka zigaragara ku buzima bwa bana rero wowe uri muri iyo myaka hagarara wambara imbaraga z'Imana usenye wo mwuka w'inzoka ku buzima bwawe kandi satana zatsindwa mu izina rya Yesu Amen. And I would like to conclude by reminding you that those who are in the prime age, the working age, from 15 to 45, I want to remind you that it's a time, it is the noonday time when the snakes are getting out of their fox holes, when they are violent with wreath uh, plans to kill and strike and bite you, you need to stand and fight against the devil you shall overcome in the name of Jesus. Mu gihe cyo gukora kwa uzakomereka, mu gihe cyo gutera imbere kwa uzakomereka, mu gihe cyo kurwana n'itera imbere uzakomereka, ariko n'ukomeza kwishingikiriza ku mwami Yesu uzakomera kandi uzabicamo byose. Ni mwakirije ambo ry'Imana. Amen. In your working and your engagements in your career and your business, I promise you you're going to be attacked and you're going to be wounded, but stand your ground you shall overcome in the name of Jesus. Amen.